What's up, Toast Camarado 101, and welcome to another MLP episode review. This time we're talking about Pinky Apple Pie and Rainbow Falls. <laughs> I always want to say uh, Wonderbolts Academy, but just because an episode has Rainbow Dash internal conflict and Spitfire in it, that does not make it to Wonderbolts Academy. So let's jump into Pinky Apple Pie because I really enjoyed this episode. It's the kind of episode where everything is just done all right. Like, everything gets an 8 out of 10, but when you add it all, all the factors together, it somehow comes out to a 9 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10. Mathematically, it doesn't make sense, but in your head, it's just like, this was a really good episode, at least in my case. You guys could feel differently. It, it is definitely one of those episodes that are um, one-off-ish. They don't really add to the... It doesn't really add to the plot, but it's just one of those episodes anyone can go back and rewatch it. And it is one of those episodes that you could show to someone who's not a brony and not try to get them into a brony. But it's like they don't need to watch this episode to understand the overarching plot. And they don't have to watch the overarching plot first and then expect this episode to be part of it. So it's just a good episode. Plus it's got Pinkie Pie. It's also uh, re revived a little bit of my feeling in Applejack. I'm not too interested in Applejack. She's not the greatest character in my opinion. But obviously you guys have different opinions. But Applejack just doesn't do it for me. And you know you think this is a Pinkie Pie episode. And I w was under the impression this was the Pinkie Pie episode for the longest time throughout the episode. But then towards the end you kind of realize it's an Applejack episode. She's the one right in the friendship lesson. I mean her along with uh, Granny Smith, Macintosh, Apple Bloom, and Pinkie Pie. But it's just... It gets more Applejack centric. She's the one with most of the internal conflict. Pinkie Pie is just facilitating that. I mean, the whole conflict starts off with Pinkie Pie finding out about um, her ancestral link with Applejack, or her maybe ancestral link, because, you know, as it goes with every big mystery, the page is ripped out of a book and they gotta go find the missing page. So, anyway, they go on this uh, little journey to find uh, one of Applejack's relatives who, you know, uh, hoards everything related to everything, so if anyone were to know about their ancestral link, it'd be her, so It's basically them trying to get to her and they go through all sorts of stuff. They go through like woods um, Waterfalls they, they, they build a raft and it, it's really cool And there's a song in there too, which is a good song and Pinkie Pie's part of the song. I definitely enjoy it. It's just it's I'm looking forward to seeing some, um, I'm sure they've already come out because I'm reviewing this super late, but I'm looking forward to actually looking for some remixes and seeing what people have done with the song because the song itself is okay. Like I said, it's got that 8 out of 10, but I, I hope those remixes bring it up to like 10 out of 10 or 11 out of 10 because I really love um, MLP remixes. They're just the shit. I absolutely love them. And... Uh, I guess that's about it. I mean, oh yeah, obviously you got to talk about Slender Pony. He's in there, makes a quick little like three frame cameo, and it's totally awesome. I, I just love when animators switch or not switch up, but like mix that stuff into the episode, and not necessarily like animation errors, like certain stuff. Like I don't know if the giving alicorn wings on like every every background pony is like a uh, animation error. They've been kind of doing that throughout the season, but. This is definitely not an error. This was deliberate. I mean, Slender Pony's in there, and it's really quick. It's hard to, um, it's, I mean, it's easy to miss. It's hard to catch, and I, I just think, I, I love when animators do that. And jumping into um, Rainbow Falls, I, I, I thought it was an okay episode. I mean, my biggest issue was that Spitfire was totally out of character. I mean, if you kind of base your idea of what Spitfire is, she's the leader of the Wonder Bullets. She, you know, she's supposed to have... Um, you know, good values, that's that's how you become a leader, good morals, you'd expect her to, you know, have some elements of loyalty, because she is a Pegasus, a Wonderbolt, that sort of comes with a title, you'd assume, I mean, they're pristine flyers, recognized by everyone, it's kind of like, <laughs> I'm going to say, like, it's kind of like you'd expect people in politics to have those values, but they're just slippery bastards, but I, I guess that's kind of how I'd compare Spitfire in this episode, she's very much got that, um, she really wants to win attitude, and that's why she sort of uh, leaves uh, Soren in the dust when he hurts his wing. So anyway, let's. I'm kind of talking about a lot of the middle of the episode before kind of uh, attacking the beginning. Uh, it's basically a uh, build up for the Equestria Games. It's one of those episodes, kind of like how they had the Ticketmaster, which was a build up for the gala. 
uh, this is the same thing. It's kind of, um, it's, this episode does serve a purpose to an overarching plot, and that's getting to the Equestria games. So, anyway, uh, Rainbow Dash is trying to build a flyer team for one of the events, and it's got Fluttershy, Rainbow Dash, and Snowball, which is the uh, super buff, yeah, pony. So, uh, he's in this episode. In my opinion, he doesn't steal the show, which is good, and Derpy's also in this episode, and she doesn't steal the show, at least for me, because Derpy isn't too impressive for me, so her little appearance, whatever it was, it did not steal the show, which I enjoyed. I mean, this was about Rainbow Dash, this was about Spitfire, this was a little bit about Soren, and uh, I just, I hate when uh, background pony appearances steal the show, so... It was a it was a nice balance, at least for me. So anyway, uh, Rainbow Dash is trying to build up this team, and she kind of sees that it's not a great team. I mean, when she sees the other, um, she sees the Wonder Bulls, she sees other cities doing really good. Uh, they even flashed a few Griffins in there. I'm liking that they're bringing in other species, not just uh, pony like based species. They got they got the Griffins in there, and they look super awesome. So we'll probably be seeing them in later episodes too. And I. And so, so she notices that her team's not that good, and she wants to really practice with the Wonder Bolts, and then Soren hurts his wing, and he has to go in for, like, uh, for whatever, patching up and all that, and so the Wonder Bolts need another person. They grab Rainbow Dash, and Rainbow Dash is, like, in this internal conflict. Uh, should she stay with her team, which she knows is probably destined to lose, or is she going to go with the Wonder Bolts and have a surefire win? And she's like sort of torn, and no one knows about this offer except the Rainbow Dash and the Wonder Bolts. And then Twilight sort of finds out after a while. And um, this is, I, I like this about Twilight because Twilight is smart. She could probably give R Rainbow Dash, you know, the right friendship backed up lesson, and uh, Rainbow Dash would have just gone with that and it, everything would have been fine. But she's like, I can't, I know what I would do, but I, I can't tell you what to do. And that's a very uh, princess you know, a very NLP princess thing to say. I mean, Celestia is always like that. She's like, I, I can't do it for you. This is for you to find out. And it's starting to show that, you know, the other characters, not just Twilight, are growing in terms of friendship lessons. And I mean, even someone who's like Rainbow Dash versus Fluttershy, I feel like Fluttershy would be, um, starts up a little bit higher in terms of, you know, value of friendship and all that. And Rainbow Dash, she's loyal, but she still, you know, she has that conflict and... Uh, it's nice to see all the characters grow, even if they are on different starting positions. So, um, that, I, I did like that about this episode. Uh, I referenced at the beginning, uh, not liking the Spitfire is not very characterized well, uh, based on, you know, how, how she would be. Like, how her character is, has been established so far, she did not act her character at all. She was very sleazy, she was very, um, cheaty, she, uh, was, uh, completely willing to dump Soren uh, off the team once he hurt his wing and pick up Rainbow Dash and lying to Soren, lying to Rainbow Dash, that saying that Soren is still hurt and he won't be revived in time and uh, telling Soren that uh, they're waiting on him or something like that. I, I don't know. But it's just, it, it was not Spitfire as we knew her. I mean, she is the one that told Rainbow Dash that the Wonder Bolts are about pushing yourself, not just about pushing yourself, but pushing yourself in the right direction. And she did not uh, display these qualities at all, which sort of threw me off. And um, other other than that, that was the only big issue I had. I mean, the visually, this episode is awesome. It's, it's definitely more, more so visually stunning than a pinky apple pie. So if I'd have to give the, uh, the medal, I'd give it to Rainbow Falls. It's got all the awesome like sky environments they're uh, practicing all, all the ponies in one area all the different types of ponies the griffins gathered up together they just look super good and I mean then you got like uh, Snowball who is different than all the other ponies he's very buff and very um just just different he's heavier and they, it shows in the animation style there's more follow through there's more anticipation with Snowball and it's just very it's very interesting animation, and definitely that's a good part. So, uh, would I recommend both episodes? Hell yeah. I mean, I always recommend all the episodes. Was that even a surprise? Uh, I enjoyed them. I hope you guys did. Uh, that's about it. See you guys later. Camahora 101, out.